asking you what is your first word which is coming to your mind when you hear about Cluj? Nothing. Next try, Transylvania. Mm. <coughs> Getting better. So, so I'll try to move now, uh, saying about Cluj Napoca in the heart of Transylvania. So now we have, have an idea about what is happening around. Our city is the second largest city in Romania, and uh, it's a university city with more than 11 um, universities and more than uh, 100,000 students. So the main asset of the city are the talents. So what, do, what is going to happen? We were a former communist city based on heavy industry, but the communist system is not anymore from 1989 no uh, opportunity to sell our uh, goods. So we have to, we had to change our strategy. So we put, it, put our experts to work. We had more than 400 experts working on the strategy of the city and we changed our vision. And our vision, very simple, now is focused on uh, innovation and uh, services. No more heavy industry city, a city based on innovation. Of course, keep in mind, that we have just 27 years of democracy and 27 years of uh, new developments. So we cannot compare with uh, Rotterdam or uh, other cities like uh, we presented today. But on small scale, we try to follow this, uh, uh, this path. How? Putting together our positive advantages. So we have talents, as I mentioned, we are able to offer the labor force highly trained in all domains. Second, we have infrastructure in IT. Romania is number four ranked in the world in terms of speed of internet, because we came last in the club, so we had the new technology. That's one of the advantage of coming the last. And uh, uh, third, we put together the money, public, private, and especially European money. We had a chance to use European money in order to innovate. So uh, you have here a few ideas about our city, which I already mentioned, being, uh, and all, all of you are invited in June this year to participate in the European uh, Commission Conference Open Innovation 2.0, which is going to take place for the very first time in Eastern Europe in, um, in Romania. According with uh, the strategy of the city, also we focused to attract as much as you can foreign investors based on innovation as a key component, key strategy, and connected to innovation, research, development, and IT are the most important thing. Our city is the national uh, capital of IT, I would say, in this moment in Romania. I will start with what Professor or President uh, Rifkin mentioned about sustainable digital economy. And I follow up his uh, ideas and the attributes of the emergent world are the following, one, the following one you have it here. New source of renewable energy, new means of transportation, interaction, interaction between intelligent devices, new communication technologies. We try to do a smaller scale in our city and we are aware that the cities are entering the fourth stage of moder modern uh, transformations. So technology innovation is the key. And what have we done in this context? These are the dimension in Cluj, infrastructure and investment to create a hard component, ensuring data and technology access for solutions to local problems, smart city and open data platforms. Third, digital competency and capable entrepreneurs to accelerate the digital transformation process. We have uh, two strong IT clusters in the city and uh, we use them, first of all, to shape the strategy of uh, uh, innovation, the strategy of IT for the city, and at the same time to put all the means together in order to have one uh, strategy. Last but not least, which is very important, is the leadership. Leadership means collaboration, smart collaboration with all key stakeholders in the city. And uh, as you mentioned here, that's, it's a key component towards innovation. Where we are now and what do we want to achieve? First, energy and environment. Extending use of electric buses. We started a, a smaller case scale, but now using European money, also we want to buy uh, another 
three, another 30 new electric buses by 2019. Having in mind that the population of the city is around 400,000 people, less than half a million uh, uh, population. Efficient public lighting, energy efficient using European, fi European uh, funds, ongoing projects, which is also a necessity. Here, we are the only city in Romania offering ta tax cut for green buildings. So if you are investing in the city, you pay 50% off taxes if you are building a green building according with a certificate. So it's an incentive offer for investors, but also the policy of, uh, of green buildings. Transportation. We try to catch as quick as possible the modern evolution in Western Europe. Automatic ticketing systems, self-service of renting bikes, electric buses, prioritizing public transportation to special, li special lanes, encouraging walking and cycling, which is the, the beginning, but it's very, very attractive for the people. People are very much interested to get in touch with such a policy. Uh, also, um, we are interconnected traffic lights, also using the Internet of Things and using the smart city component in order to use technology to improve the quality of life. For example, showing the number of available parking spots in the city parking. We have an application and apps on iOS and Android showing you the available availability of the parking space in the city, in which parking you have a, a parking a free space to have your car, and, and so on. There are a lot of uh, um, internet of things and uh, apps offering in the city. Also, you are using the smart city technology in order to improve the quality of communication between the city and the citizens. And you have here a list of opportunities. And we, I would uh, uh, mention just one of them, uh, online appointment of marriages. If, so you, if you want to get married, come to Cluj, just put online and the mail will be available and be done uh, very quick. And also, we have uh, online uh, divorce uh, strategy. <laughs> have to get acquainted with both of them uh, to use the technology for both uh, uh, innovating. Internet access, public safety, and uh, our city is uh, the national capital of sports and, and uh, events. The main important project for the next 15 years is Cluj Innovation City. Just one word about this project. Supposed to be some kind of Silicon Valley of Cluj, a city in a city. And we want to use the Juncker's plan for strategic investment to get money, to get to develop that project of more than half a billion euro with more than 20,000 new jobs and 100,000 new people, research, development, innovation, and IT. That's a very ambitious plan of the city. But working all the stakeholders we have here, I think we can uh, succeed. And inviting you to Cluj. This year, Eurobasket is going to take place in our city. Uh, the basketball, also European Gymnastic Championship in 2017, and also a lot of uh, festival and events. Our city being the European capital of youth in 2015. As I mentioned, we had uh, um, more than 100,000 uh, students. And uh, I leave you the conclusions because uh, I still have to finish. But one conclusion is that the city will be more connected and inclusive using this, uh, this strategy. And as I mentioned, thank you. And I'm we are inviting you to come to Cluj to the Open Innovation 2.0. Thank you.